If you need to remove a large rock or concrete that's too heavy, you have a few options. Conventional explosives are very effective, fast and cheap. But it's not always suitable, for example if it's close to buildings. Another option is to use what's called non-explosive demolition agents. The main advantages are that it's silent, vibration-free and generally available for purchase without restrictions. But how does it work? Holes are drilled in a pattern where you want to split the rock like you would for conventional explosives. Then a slurry mixture of the non-explosive demolition agent and water is poured into the drill holes. The active ingredient is calcium oxide, also known as quicklime or burnt lime. When calcium oxide reacts with water it produces a lot of heat and converts to calcium hydroxide. The formation of calcium hydroxide causes the mixture to expand. This swelling effect of quicklime was used thousands of years ago by the ancient Egyptians to split rock. Modern mixes was developed during the 70s and consists of various additives that gives more control over the reaction. Portland cement is a typical additive. It starts expanding in a few hours and the rock is split within 24 hours. But this can vary depending on temperature and what object you're trying to crack. To increase the reaction rate, you could have a higher percentage calcium oxide, but that also increases the temperature and could lead to a steam explosion caused by rapid boiling of the water, which obviously would not be very safe. So, it is important to have the right amount of additives to slow the reaction down enough. Instead, manufacturers use additives that accelerate the hydration process in a safe way. The resulting force can according to some manufacturers be up to 18,000 psi or 124 megapascal, which easily cracks most materials. Granite crack at 6 to 16 megapascal and concrete at 3 to 5 megapascal. 